Hi everybody. August 26 now. It is 1.11 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Doppler radar. It is from the north all the way down to the south along the coast. Blasting away. Blasting away in Oklahoma, in Kansas, bit of Colorado, North Dakota, Texas, of course. Extremely low frequencies, flickering away. Southern California still, you got it, blasting away. Northern California, a few extremely low frequencies. Colorado, all right. Um, I want to read uh, a few more excerpts from documents that will conclude my series of electronic warfare videos part one part two part three is this um, and i just want to get it done so i also want to remind everybody about who john trump is john trump mr radar man mr radar the president's uncle now I find it very interesting because the president continually talked of his uncle in terms of his uncle being brilliant and he spoke to Donald about the dangers of nuclear, nuclear, nuclear war, nuclear proliferation. I have been looking for something that will tell me that John Trump actually um, specialized in nuclear physics or something. No, radar, microwaves, that comes up. So you can read this um, Everything I will link to, I'm not going to read everything in full, but here. During World War II, Dr. Trump devoted his entire attention to vital war projects. In 1940, he became technical aide of Dr. Compton, then president of MIT and chairman of the radar division of the newly created National Defense Research Committee. 1942, he was made the secretary of the Microwave Committee of the National Defense Research Committee uh, and later was appointed the director of the British branch of the Radiation Laboratory where he served from uh, February 1944 until the end of the European phase of the war. Uh, everything is radar, radiation, microwaves, Post-war period, Dr. Trump and his associates resumed their studies of high-voltage phenomena, the acceleration of electrons to high energies, and the interaction of such radiations with living and non-living matter. Special interest in electrical engineering and radiology. Um, this is actually very interesting. One of the more controversial topics involving Nikola Tesla is what became of many of his technical and scientific papers after he died in 1943. Just before his death at the height of World War II, he claimed that he had perfected his so-called death beam. So it was natural that the FBI and other US government agencies would be interested in any scientific ideas involving weaponry. Some were concerned that Tesla's papers might fall into the hands of the access powers of this or the Soviets. The morning after the inventor's death, his nephew hurried to his uncle's room in the Hotel New Yorker. He was an up-and-coming Yugoslav official with suspected connections to the Communist Party. Uh, by the time he arrived, Tesla's body had already been removed and his nephew suspected that someone had already gone through his uncle's 
effects. Technical papers were missing, as well as a black notebook he knew Tesla kept. A notebook with several hundred pages, some which were marked government. Hmm. So the assistant director of the New York FBI office was called in to investigate. The government was vitally interested in preserving Tesla's papers. Two days after Tesla's death, representatives of the Office of Alien Property went to his room at the New Yorker Hotel and seized all his possessions. Donald Trump's uncle. It was Donald Trump's uncle, John G. Trump, an electrical engineer with the National Defense Research Committee of the Office of Scientific Research and Development, was called in to analyze the Tesla papers following a three-day investigation. Donald Trump's uncle said, Nothing to see here. Move on. This is what Donald Trump's uncle said. His Tesla's, Tesla's thoughts and efforts during at least the past 15 years were primarily of a speculative, philosophical, and somewhat mm, promotional character, often concerned with the production and wireless transmission of power but did not include new sound workable principles or methods for realizing such results. Really? Hmm. Well, where did his technical papers go? Did they go into John's pocket? Perhaps. Just after World War II, there was renewed interest in beam weapons. Copies of Tesla's papers on particle beam weaponry were sent to Patterson Air Force Base. Operation codename Project Nick was heavily funded and placed under the command of a general to test the feasibility of Tesla's concept, but the experiments were never published. Okay, something strange went on right after Tesla's murder and isn't it interesting that it was donald's uncle okay um to all of your trumps to the trump supporters out there who are quote unquote awake you've got a guy in the executive office who is a quintessential pathological narcissist all he does is talk about how great he is. But I do find it interesting that these interviews that Donald gave years and years ago, um, they focus on not what John Trump's real specialty was, radar, microwaves, uh, high voltage generators they always talk about how he was a uh, like a genius regarding nuclear research and yet here you know his um, biography they don't mention anything about his research nuclear research So, I actually tried to get the New York Times obituary, and now you have to subscribe, and I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, Trump, man. Oof, Donald Trump's nuclear uncle. They're always talking about his nuclear uncle, and they don't really focus on what his uncle was really specializing in. Here, his high voltage research lab. Um, uh, oh, by the way, 
this is what Professor Trump told during an interview in 1936, an interview of a new kind of x-ray machine, which had sparks come out and hit his nose, and but it didn't hurt. He said, that's an advantage of this machine. It's completely grounded and those sparks can't kill you. I only highlighted that to say, if you still have Wi-Fi, your wireless connection to the internet, it can kill you. Why don't you ground it? Okay. Um, and get an ethernet cord. So, Donald Trump mentions his uncle so often and in such extravagant terms, brilliant, one of the top, top professors at MIT. Um, he was at MIT for decades and the x-ray machines he helped design provided additional years of life to cancer patients throughout the world. All right. Um, Trump was involved in radar research for the Allies in the Second World War. And yes, okay. John Trump reviews Tesla's papers. Our government sends John Trump. And now we're living a time where we are all suffering though some are asymptomatic still. From Doppler radar emitting very dangerous frequencies. Uh, well, might there be a connection? Oh, and Donald Trump, it's during Trump's presidency that we see Doppler radar just exploding now. Don't you think John Trump knew something that he may have conveyed to Donald about the microwave weapons and, well, Tesla's death beam Um, Donald Trump couples tales of how he received early secret word from his uncle that nuclear weapons were dangerous and getting more so. There are things that are happening that could be potentially so bad for the world in terms of weaponry. Every time I read this, I'm sorry. I think he keeps talking about nuclear weapons when in fact he's talking about microwave weapons. He's talking about scalar technology, Tesla's scalar technology. Can't say, you know, I don't know Donald, I wasn't there when he was talking to John, but something is off with this. In interviews, you know, before he was president, um, he's talking about his uncle that, according to Donald, nuclear weapons and the world's going to be a scary place. Um, and yet, in interviews, he was rather casual about the proliferation of nuclear weapons. And he said about climate change, he was asked about climate change. He said, the only global warming I'm worried about is nuclear global warming. We kind of have nuclear global warming now that's being induced via extremely low frequencies, microwave frequencies, radar millimeter pulsing away. Trump told the Times that his uncle would tell me many years ago about the power of weapons someday, that the destructive force of these weapons would be so massive 
that it's going to be a scary world. Look at the destructive force of these weapons all over the world. Weather used as weapons. Scale, excuse me, scalar technology used to control weapons. That comes from Tesla. That John Trump just shrugged off. Oh, he was just promoting himself. He was really philosophical. Nothing to see. Move on. And the papers disappear. Um, so he was asked, Donald was asked, about his tendency to use crude language and insult people. Trump said that that wouldn't continue when he was president. Really? <laughs> I'd say it continued. But he says, my uncle, I would say my uncle was one of the brilliant people. He was at MIT for 35 years as a great scientist and engineer, actually more than anything else. Dr. John Trump, he was a great guy. What? Uh, that was followed not by a quote from his uncle about, say, the importance of treating people decently, but by the simple statement, I'm an intelligent person. Me, 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 me. When everybody, well, I don't know about everybody, but I, you know, I, I certainly know a lot of subscribers who jumped on the Trump bandwagon. I know that they know about pathological narcissism. Uh, well, what are you thinking? What are you thinking here? So, yeah, Donald, Donald knows about the scary weapons, the scary Tesla scalar technology. Ah, that can well, start fires and bring an entire home and all the porcelain, all the metal, everything to dust. Look at the flooding all over the world. Scary weapons. All right. Um, just a few more points that I want to bring up regarding what is documented in the Defense Intelligence Agency Biological Effects of Electromagnetic Radiation. This 1976 document, Radio Waves, Microwaves. All right. Um, yes, very early on. They knew that electromagnetic fields and their influence on biological systems create adverse effects on human health, cancer, reproduction. Similarities between microwave irradiation and drugs. Growing perception that microwave irradiation and exposure to low frequency fields, extremely low frequencies, can be involved in a wide range of biological interactions. Some investigators are even beginning to describe similarities between irradiation with microwaves and drugs regarding their effects on biological systems. They can, with frequencies, induce a state of drunkenness when the individual never picked up a, a glass of alcohol. They can induce hallucinations, kind of like acid. They can induce a lot of behaviors that one would think the person is on drugs. Um, okay, well, I've read into other videos, but yes, they can affect motor activity, 
your behavior make you aggressive or make you docile and they can affect your memory. Um, even back in 1976, the database replete with observations of biological systems affected by exposure to electromagnetic energy. Now, this is uh, excerpts from a 1989 issue of the West German scientist publication Rom Ziet, uh, and Ziet, I'm not sure if I've pronounced that right. It is an article by Dr. Volkrant. Uh, look, forget me in terms of pronouncing names. You know, if it's not Smith and Jones, I'm at a loss. Um, the article titled, Can Human Beings Be Manipulated by Extremely Low Frequency Waves? Here we go. Using these frequencies, the nerve fibers convey pain sensations, the feeling of hungry, tiredness, nausea, and signals on the sense of balance to points in the brain which invoke these stages in awake consciousness. If interference signals are superimposed on the natural signals generated by the body by using artificially created waves as a carrier, the brain could be presented with simulated states that we consciously perceive, perceive but which do not appear as reality, a state of disturbed sense of balance, enough to stop people from being able to run or make them feel dizzy even when they are lying down. It's to incapacitate the enemy. In a psychotronic war using microwaves modulated using extremely low frequency waves. Okay. High frequency uh, microwaves or microwaves at in a frequency range modulated using extremely low frequencies. Okay, uh, what are you seeing right here? You're seeing microwaves coming from Doppler radar modulated with extremely low frequencies. And what can that do? All right. It would no longer be necessary to kill whole armies by inducing cardiac or respiratory irregular signals. So they could do that prior to 1989. They could kill whole armies inducing cardiac arrest or respiratory failure using microwaves. Now, with the extremely low frequency waves, the enemy can simply be incapacitated by disturbing their states of balance or confusing the ability to think logically. The manipulation of human beings by means of extremely low frequency waves is relatively easy to perform. The Persian Gulf War, Donald Rumsfeld lying, saying, uh, or addressing Nora O'Donnell's question about directed energy weapons. Um, it was used in the Persian Gulf War and it incapacitated by confusing Iraqi forces. They surrendered. They surrendered. An army of occupation could then manipulate a nation's ability to make decisions in confusing political situations or disable undesirable activities. Using extremely low frequency modulated microwave transmitters employed this way could also serve to obviate the use of force. Why do we see? Why do we see? 
Doppler radar, extremely low frequencies, blasting away, usually from midnight on to the early morning hours. They're using this to mind control entire populations. You know, I read an article about Texas going blue. Yeah. And isn't it interesting that we see so much blue? <laughs> blue Texas. Blue Oklahoma. Blue Kansas. Blue, 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 blue. Red states going blue. All right. We're screwed. These, these weapons are scary. Okay, I'm going to read that again because it's really important. They can manipulate a nation's ability to make decisions in confusing political situations or disable undesirable activities. Confusing anyone today? Donald Trump says one thing one day, the next day he says the complete opposite. That goes on and on and on. And I don't hear much from the Trump supporters on this guy saying things that are so like, hello, uh, is Donald Trump brilliant? I don't think so. He talks about those genes. He's a big genes guy. I got brilliant genes. Really, Donald? Um, obviate the use of force. Well, we have a lot of crazy behavior that we are seeing today. So, it makes you wonder. Also, unconventional research in USSR and Russia. Short overview, Cornell University. Uh, studies on biological effects of weak electromagnetic emissions. Just going to briefly go over um, all of this, but uh, I will look below. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll look on the internet for these articles. I've had them uh, for many, many years. So I don't know. Um, I have come across trying to find articles that I've captured years ago and can't find them. So if you don't see the link below, I couldn't find it. Um, but they were talking about what the USSR was experimenting on their research and how the United States and the USSR, the Soviets, the United States, they were in competition, you know, each, you know, working really, really fast. What you don't know is that these countries worked together. That Cold War was a farce. The, the Soviets, the Americans, they were working together. Um, electromagnetic emission have shown that mechanisms of high nervous activity can be affected by microwave radiation. John Trump, <clears throat> that was his specialty, microwave radiation. Uh, the impact of medium and short electromagnetic waves modulated by low frequency signals on separate areas of the brain responsible for emotional state and functionality of different organs. The biological effects of electromagnetic radiation are, well, uh, the, the numerous. Various biological effects can be explained by unequal absorption of microwave energy by different tissues of the body, excitation of some parts of a nervous system. If the absorption of electromagnetic energy takes place in nerves and nerve cells, a neg negligible portion of the energy absorbed, absorbed by the nerve is enough to produce a number of secondary phenomena in the body caused by the excitation of a nerve. You know, 
Anybody? Ripple effect? Ripple effect? Okay, we're electromagnetic beings, naturally, then induce artificial electromagnetic frequencies uh, that go through our bodies, cross our blood-brain barrier. Frequencies affect us. They affect us. Every cell in our body is affected. When you've got that going on, well, it affects the entire body. Okay, here's this. Lead shields hold the radiation. This is why they got rid of lead. Lead shield holds the radiation, meaning the lead doesn't allow the microwaves to go past the lead. We got rid of lead paint. Get it out of your homes. Yes, yes. Uh, they wanted us to get rid of the lead so they can spy on us, so they can see through into our homes with Wi-Fi, with microwaves. Um, it can be assumed that the psychophysiological effects of microwave emission were actively investigated during the Nazi socialist regime in Germany. <gasps> ah, guess who was over there? John Trump. And after 1945, the technology was adopted by the country's winners. <laughs> uh, the pulse modulated extremely... Um, Electromagnetic radiation can cause auditory hallucination, uh, and that was already uh, proven by the 50s. USSR and the USSA had their own programs on studying the impact of electromagnetic fields on biological objects. Now, John Trump goes over there, and he devotes uh, all his time, the war efforts, to radar microwaves. Then he comes back. Ah, hey, John, go look at Tesla's papers. Don't you think that this guy, John Trump, was focused also on these electromagnetic fields? I think so. Uh, break the process, processes of formation, processing, and information storage in the brain, nonspecific changes in the central nervous system. This was going on during the war, World War II, after the war, and they have perfected these weapons, microwave radiation in the areas of, um, I'm not sure what the S is, high frequency and extremely high frequency for impacting the psyche. Impacting the psyche. I have subscribers who whenever I talk about the psyche, uh, they hit me with, you know, the only thing that people can be concerned about is the Bible and Jesus, or it's psychobabble. Wow, man. Well, your psyche has been corrupted and affected. There is a psyche. And if you don't get that psychology these elite psychopathic nut jobs have, they know your psychology, you just don't know it. So therefore, you're easily manipulated to be really stupid, thinking, hey, I don't have to know any of this stuff. Oh, you do. You really, you need to know your own psychology, your own psyche. And if you don't, you're just well, a lost puppy. Uh, USA and USSR competed for the research, okay. Uh, Non-lethal technology becomes important in a discussion of mind control used to control large populations, electromagnetic fields, and directed energy radiation, and ultrasound, and infrasound weapons. Yeah, uh, got it going. Researchers knew that a low-energy microwave beam modulated with an audiogram 
actually convey a recognizable message into the irradiated brain. And they knew this decades ago. All right. Links below to everything. And I hope you're all okay. And I am so sorry that so many of you are suffering the consequences of being irradiated. No one. This, you want to talk crime against humanity? This is, this is a crime beyond anything that we have ever known. And it is rendering people to just survive life rather than live it and enjoy it. And I'm so sorry that so many of you are because I know what it's like. Okay. Good night, guys.